So I have this super easy recipe for mushroom carbonara. It is so creamy, it is so good, it is filled with mushrooms, and you can put it together in minutes. So I hope you guys all enjoy. I start off by cutting about six large button mushrooms. It's actually whatever mushrooms you want it to be. And I'm marinating it in one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, along with a little bit of liquid smoke. And my goal is to kind of mimic bacon just a little bit, but you guys can go as crazy as you want to with these flavors. I'm just gonna let that marinate for about 15 minutes and start on the rest of the recipe. So this sauce is meant to replicate that creamy, that rich, eggy carbonara sauce that is usually accomplished with egg yolks. And surprisingly, there's a couple of ingredients in here that really do the same thing very well. I start off by mixing one cup of a non-dairy milk with three quarters of a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, along with some chickpea flour. Recipe is going to be down below. And the apple cider vinegar, it really just picks up and lifts this sauce. It doesn't make it, you know, sour or anything. Um, and then in go the rest of the flavoring ingredients. So really easy, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, onion powder, and then black salt. And that is going to bring the egginess right back in. So I'm gonna start off by sauteing the mushrooms first. And I'm just using a little bit of water to help it along at the beginning, so no oil here. And just cooking it on about medium, medium high heat for three to four minutes, just until it loses some of its moisture before we add in that sauce. Now I would cook this mixture for around three to four minutes on medium heat, slowly bring it up to a boil. And the reason is because you want that time to cook off that chickpea so that it doesn't have kind of that raw bean flavor. And then afterwards, adjust your seasonings. So do you want a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, or maybe a little bit more apple cider vinegar really picks this dish up and um, a little parsley and pretty much you're, you're good to go. I forgot to mention, I used two portions of a gluten-free pasta for this one, and it is so creamy. I love mushrooms, and it's something very easy that you can make in you know big batches or do as a last-minute type of dinner that's you know very filling and very, very good. Anyways, kitty cats, that is it for me. I hope you have all been enjoying these really simple recipes um, that I've been doing lately. As usual, if you wanna see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like, 
and subscribe button and I'll see you guys all again next time. Bye!